everyone! Welcome back to our video series on what it means to be a music major. I've invited some more music students to share their thoughts on today's topic, how to prepare for college auditions. Auditioning can be an intimidating topic for a lot of us, so we're hoping to answer your questions and set you up for success as you prepare to tackle your auditions in the next couple years. Keep an eye on websites and emails from colleges you're interested in for when they are holding auditions and how they're going to work. Do some research into those programs to find out their audition requirements, as well as get your hands on any music and materials you might need. Some places will be more specific about what they want you to play, while others will give you more choice. So here are some tips from our music students and faculty on how to select repertoire and prepare. When I go about selecting repertoire for auditions, I try to find pieces that will best show off my voice. So when I was auditioning at different colleges, I tried to find four contrasting pieces that each of them showed a different quality of my voice or a different timbre and showed that I could be a flexible musician. When you're preparing a vocal audition, make sure that it is a piece that shows off your voice really well it doesn't have to be complicated or really unusual. Just make sure it's something that you sing really well and that we can get a really good read on your voice and your musicality. If you have to select two contrasting works or three contrasting works, you want to make sure that you're picking something technical, something lyrical, and then the third one can be either a combination or just um, a piece of music from a different time period with a different kind of that requires a different skill. Um, you really want to pick music that showcases what you're good at, but also shows, showcases you're able to play in many different styles. And it's really, really helpful for a panel to be able to see everything that you can do. When preparing for auditions, I think it's important to start months in advance so that you truly know your music and connect to it the day of the audition. So probably months in advance, you're learning the music and then weeks in advance, you're getting it solid, memorized, connecting to the emotions of the piece and learning about it. And days before you truly know it and are just singing it every day just to make sure and practicing in front of different audiences as well. Videoing yourself can also help a lot in even months leading into it. So if you video yourself or even just whether it's a video or the audio, Record yourself so that you can look back at your music as you're listening to it and see if you can do anything better, and you can see what you're doing really well too. The bulk of preparation is just normal practicing for me, um, but what I will really try to do, especially in the month or weeks before the audition, is play in front of as many different people as possible, even people that make me really nervous. So I'll play in front of my family, or I'll play with my window open, which is kind of intimidating because I know people are gonna be able to hear me, people I don't know. Um, I will play in front of professors or teachers or friends. I will make my friends listen to me play. Um, and it's really, really helpful to just get out those initial nerves of, of being able to play in front of anyone. Um, and you might even ask your friends to try to do something while you're playing that would distract you. So like maybe, a friend will be like walking around you or talking or on their phone or just like generally being a rude audience. Maybe they'll untie your shoe. Um, so that way you, you'll be able to tell if you are distractible or not while you're playing. And the goal is to be able to be completely focused regardless of what's going on around you because sometimes during auditions one of the judges will write something down or they'll lean over to another judge and whisper something and that can be really, really intimidating if you're not used to that kind of thing. Once you actually learn the piece of music, what I do as, we get, as I get closer to the audition, maybe a week out or so, two weeks, is to just start doing cold runs. So as a percussionist, I'll get all my mallets and sticks out, lay them out, walk up to the xylophone, run through my audition for that, go up the snare drum, run through my audition for that, and I won't stop and fix things in the middle until I've completely run through my entire audition repertoire. Um, I treat the day before as a dress rehearsal, so I'll do a full run, hopefully in front of people. Um, I might even have someone, someone sit and call things out like it's a real audition, so they might tell me, okay, start here. I 
barely play the day of my audition. I will warm up and I will play, I will start everything. So I'll just play like the first four to 16 bars of a piece. Um, and the really, really tricky spots that I've been, that I've been working on over and over. That I think it's really important to listen to the repertoire that you're auditioning with. So if you ever find yourself stuck in a rut of learning a piece, it can always be really helpful to just listen to it and listen to different artists perform it and see the different ways that they have done the piece. And then I find that it will refresh you, the piece will sink in with you, and then you'll really understand how to perform it in the best way. You should practice starting in any given spot during a piece because you could be playing a piece that everybody knows and you can assume, okay, well, everyone only plays the beginning of this, so I'm gonna learn the beginning of this better than the rest. But you never know what kind of judges you're gonna have and it's very possible that one of them will ask you to start in the middle. And if you're not prepared for that, it can be really, really intimidating. And sometimes even it's harder to start not at the beginning because you only ever practice it from the beginning. Thanks for watching. I hope you found something helpful in this video and feel a little more prepared to take on your college auditions. Good luck.